Hi, this is Avar from Scrappy Mania, and today I'm going to show you, we're going to go over some of the punches, Martha Stewart punches and other punches. Um, if you saw my video prior to this one, I kind of told you there's some sale in Ross, or not sale, but there's there's some scrapbooking punches at Ross, um, the, especially the Martha Stewart's, and these were um, two, this was $3.99, $4.99. Um, and then I went to uh, Marshalls and I got these for $4.99. And TJ Maxx had these for like $2.99. So there's some good deals. The only problem when you do go to kind of Marshalls or, or TJ Maxx or anything like any of those kind of stores is that for the Martha Stewart punch, the, the punch around the page, you will not get the pair. Um, it's very rare to get the pair. I was lucky enough that I got the pair for this one. So I got the corner and the border punch. But for all the other ones, I did not get the pair, like you can see here. Well, I'm going to show you, I did some measurements, and I'm going to show you how, even though you do not have the pair, you still will get a nice border punch like I did here. Okay? If you see here, it, you hardly notice that it's not really um, part of a set. Um, so I made the measurements and now I got it exact. How with any other Martha Stewart punch you can get a perfect corner every time. So, oh, let me just show you some of the stuff that I did. This one I did it with um, this punch from uh, Marshalls and I did some other designs with the punches so it's kind of fun I mean you can't beat it for $3.99 and $4.99 you can't excuse me you cannot beat the prices and let me show you what I did this was my first experiment using two different punches that did not belong together and it came out okay, but I didn't have the measurements, so I'm going to show you the measurements right now. So in order to get the perfect corner, you need to leave um, your, your measurement from the corner here to the edge it needs to be two and a half. Okay, and then you're going to need to leave... It needs to have at least two and a half from here to here. So if you cut your page, your your piece of paper five inches, you will get a perfect round, um, a perfect square, punch square. Um, now the measurement from here to here is three fourths of an inch. So as long as you leave two and a half inches from this quarter and each side two and a half inches here and two and a half inches here it really doesn't matter the middle because you can line it up and it will always come out perfect so let me show you so um this is five i did five inches so it's a five inch square so that means there's two and a half from the center to the edge and two and a half from this center to the other edge. So I'm going to use, let's see, um, here's my corner punch. I'm going to use this corner punch and I'm just going to punch down. Okay. And I'm going to punch all the corners, as you can see here. Okay, so I'm done with that. Now I'm going to make sure I measure. Um, I should have measured ahead of time, but I should have measured the um, two and a half. But I'll use my center. So I'll, use, I'll find the center of this. So let me get all this so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to find my center point. Okay. So here is my center point. 
I make a tick. So you're gonna do that underneath. You're gonna make your your marking underneath. So you're gonna mark just on the reverse side of your paper. Just make sure you mark two and a half in and two and a half here. So I should have done that before I did the corner punch, but I didn't. But we can fix that. So you're gonna do the same thing here. You're going to do the same thing here. And the same thing here. Okay. Now that I did that, I'm going to take my edge puncher, turn it, I'm going to turn it over. And by the way, if you use car sock, it's a lot easier to kind of do this stuff. I was experimenting with paper and it was a it did not work that well. So cardstock is the best to do this stuff. Anyhow, if you look here, I'm going to line this tick or this marking with the edge with this edge right here. Edge right there. That's where I'm going to line up my marking. Okay. Going to do the same thing on the other side. Line my marking. Okay. And line my marking. Okay. Going to do the same thing here. We're going to line it up. And then line up right here, too. Okay, and you're going to do the same thing here, you're going to line your marking up and then line it up here. Okay, now let's do the next one, line it up, and kind of line it up. Oh, whoa, when did my mic get on? Oh, it's because you kicked me. And let's line it up. Okay. And there you have a perfect corner. Okay. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is well, let's see what else we can do with these corner around with these corner punches. I'm going to take a round circle and I'm going to make a lace edge on them. So I'm going to turn my punch over and I'm going to insert it and you're going to pass you're going to pass those wings make sure you pass the wings Okay, so you're going to pass those wings and then punch down. You're going to go around, you're going to bring your cardstock past those wings, you're going to bring it up to here and punch down. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. So Pass the wings. Oops. Sometimes the, the wings get in the way. So you're going to try to kind of go underneath them and punch. And go underneath them. And go underneath them. You're going to have to go past those wings. Okay. Oops, sorry. Oops. And then one more. I'm going to go underneath. 
the wings. And then the basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a pair of scissors and you're just gonna clean off those edges. Okay. And now if you look at it, this is what you can do with, it looks like a snowflake, with your um, corner punches from Martha Stewart. Pretty nice, I like it, I like it. You can even um, make a bigger circle and then see how if you do the bigger circle, you can create like a layer effect. And then keep going, okay? And you'll get this one. So I hope you enjoyed this video um, and this tutorial. And come back to see me for some more. Bye.